And hello! Hello! So, last episode we had finished the semifinals. Yes, the semifinals. Oh man! The uh, the cap was, they uh, they didn't do so hot. They fought against Lawrence and lost. And then we fought against the other bracers and kicked their ass. Oh my god! We also went into the sewers and like exterminated monsters. But uh, yeah, so now today we gotta go and make our way to uh, Niles' uh, news uh, agency, and we gotta report back. And we gotta report to him. Well, report I say, but like you know, we gotta talk to him. He says he's got some stuff for us, or at least Dorothy told us that he's got some stuff for us. So let's go. I'm going too far down. Well, let's go to Nile and see. Uh, what what info he has for us, and uh, maybe we can like match our info with his, you know? Hey, Niall! Pardon us. Hey, you're here. Amazing. Dorothy actually got the message to you guys and didn't screw it up. Will miracles never cease? So, I hear you won your match today. Dorothy was in an absurdly cheerful mood when she got back from it. <laughs> cool! Now, about what we discussed earlier. Straight to business, I see. Take a look. Got some background on those big shots. Niall held out a black folder. Is this from the Royal Army? Yeah, nothing super secret, but I was able to get some documents. Let's just say they're on loan from some um, from some of the my con my army contacts but keep that under your hat okay absolutely well let's go ahead and read it here colonel alan richard born 1168 in the ruan region of liberal graduated head of his class from the military academy later assigned to a mobile task force led by cassius bright 1192, recognized for his distinguished service under Cassius Bright in the Hundred Days' War. Appointed to the Staff of Military Operations Office after Car Colonel Bright's retirement. 1201, suggested formation of Intelligence Division. Queen Alicia approves the request and appoints him as the first commander of the new branch. Wow, pretty impressive. Well, he is the man in charge. He always seems to be pretty sharp. Looks like Major Sid was right about him serving under Dad ten years ago. So Dad really was a colonel. I wonder why he retired. I mean, he had respect and fame and all of that. Captain Kanoe uh, Amalthea. Born 1175 in the borough's capital city of Gransel. Her excellent grades at the military academy earned her a place on the staff of the military operations at office shortly after graduation. 1201, reassigned to newly, found, um, newly formed Intelligence Division on Colonel Richard recommendation. Later appointed as Colonel Richard's aide-de-camp, whatever that is, uh, assisting directly with military operational commander, uh, command. So she's like his second in charge. I don't know why they, I don't know what an aide-de-camp is, but sure. Excellent grades again. Another intellectual big shot, looks like. The appointment means that she's been working for Colonel Richard for a long time. No wonder she's loyal, so loyal to him. And now, Lawrence. Second Lieutenant Lawrence Belgard. Age and nationality? Unknown. A member of Jester who was invited by Colonel Richard to join the Intelligence Division. Previous activities? Also unknown. He's been in disguise all along. He's not even from Liberal. And what's up with his old job as a mercenary being one big blank spot? I don't know. Jaeger Corps are, uh, are known as the best mercenary in the business for good reason. No kidding. So maybe the Colonel was just looking for a really skilled fighter? It's a possibility. And I think I've heard, heard of this jester somewhere before. Thanks for this, Nile. At least we know a little more about who we're dealing with. As long as it's useful. I've learned a few juicy tidbits while I was digging around, too. Juicy tidbits? 
For example, First Lieutenant Julia Schwartz of the Royal Guardsmen currently wanted for questioning. Was in the Academy the same year as Captain Amalthea. Really now? They never gave off the impression that they got along all that well. Maybe because they were acad uh, Academy rivals. Kanoe's got the brains, and Julia's got the combat skills. Pretty, pretty big difference there. Hmm, I see. I'd imagine so. Looks like Julia has always been the super serious knightly type, huh? Next up, and this has nothing to do with the military, mind you. You kids know about Princess Claudia, right? Princess Claudia? Sounds familiar. If memory serves, she was orphaned when the Crown Prince and his wife died. She's the granddaughter of Her Majesty Queen Alicia. Right. She's not well known, but she is the direct descendant of the Queen. From what I could dig up, she lives in the Royal Keep and pretty much stays there most of her time. And it seems someone's been looking for prospective marriage candidates for her. Huh. That's not super unusual for rich families, but just gross. That's not the point. The issue here is, who is this someone? Huh. <laughs> Spot on, kid. It could be. Well, it's not the Queen because the Queen... Well, currently the Queen is ill. But also, the Queen's not going to leave the castle to go look for uh, candidates, right? It's not the Duke, because who can, who the fuck could trust him, right? So, Colonel Richard. Hey, not bad, kid. It is Colonel Richard who's been scouring foreign countries for suitable candidates, looks like. I knew it. But isn't that kind of weird? Why would he even be involved in setting up an arranged marriage? Pretty interesting, ain't it? ain't it? And now, there's something I want from you two. Huh? You want us to win the tournament and get you some info at the dinner party, right? Is that about the long and short of it? Oh, okay. You're not shy about asking for stuff, are you? Hey, I got you information. This is called a give and, t and take, sweetheart. True, and it's been helpful. Oh, alright. I'll let you know if we find out anything. That's what I like to hear. Well, if all goes well today, I might not even need to rely on you two. Excuse me for a sec. Hello, Liberal News. No, it's you. I've been waiting for you to call in. What? Starting now? Okay, got it. I'll meet you there. What's going on? Sorry to cut and run on you, but I gotta go meet someone. Sounds like you're in for the night. Uh, you're in for a late night. The sun's going down as it is. Hey, I'm a night owl anyways. I'm only up during the daytime because the crazy chick is being trained. But hey, no biggie. You kids can just kick back and relax while I'm out. Gotcha. Good luck with your work. You too. Don't screw up tomorrow's match. Well then, what should we do now? Hmm, I guess we should stop by the guild, then go back to the hotel. We ought to report in for... And we ought to report in the info that now got us. Fine by me! Alright, let's head back to the guild. Report to Elnan. Uh, this one. Estelle, Joshua, I offer my congratulations on advancing to the championship bout. It is a shame to hear that of Kurt's loss, but I hear it was a very good match. Yeah, it was pretty intense. I wouldn't go patting us on the back just yet, though. We weren't better than Kurt, not by a Selge. True, we just got lucky. We had Zinn, along with Oliver's guns and magic, to cover for us. They're the only reason we made it as far as we have. Me too are very humble. A very uh, a rare quality these days. By the way, have you learned of any, any inf more information? Well... So, 2nd Lieutenant Lawrence is part of a Jaeger Corps. Or more specifically, the Jaeger Corps known as Jester. First, I've heard of that name, definitely. I'd best look it up. Do the Guild and Jaeger Corps even work together? 
or ever work together? Not at all. If anything, we consider one another to be business rivals. We make it our business not to interfere with matters of the state, you see. Whereas the Jaegers largely revel in such matters. They're often employed by border disputes and have some quite opposing viewpoints with us regarding the safety of the common man. That don't sound very nice. So I take there's no chance on, uh, of getting any information on this? I wouldn't say no chance. With a bit of cloak and dagger. <laughs> you know, like Joshua's skill. Cloak and dagger. I might be able to find the information you seek. It would take several days to gather the necessary intel, however. So, you wouldn't have it before the championship. Is that alright? Championship schmampionship. This has nothing to do with the competition, so, yeah, if you please. Thank you, Elnan. Also, regarding the Colonel's hunt for Princess Claudia's future husband. We've uncovered a few morsels of information which may have some connection. Uh, okay. A member of the Imperial Royal Family will be arriving in Gransel during the Queen's birthday celebration. We don't know their name, but we do know this is the first time someone from the family has come to the Burl since the war ten years ago, so this is fairly significant news. I see. You're right that it does seem connected with the talk of uh, Princess, Claudia's ma Princess Claudia's marriage. I don't actually know a thing about the Imperial Royal Army. I mean, the only Imperial I ever met... It's Oliver. The princess has just celebrated her 16th birthday. It seems much too early for her to be married. I suspect there may be t politics at work here. Well, 16? Jeez, we're only 16 ourselves. It is the appropriate age for a young lady to make her debut in high society. But unless we reverted to a much repressed time, it is much too soon for marriage. Indeed, as I said, I suspect there is a political move to... To this push for wedlock. And finding that motive will no doubt prove to be a most valuable endeavor. Gotcha. If we can earn that invite to the castle, we'd be able to investigate much more easily. Then we need to secure a, t uh, secure a win in tomorrow's championship. Hmm. As dangerous as this may be, I got something for you. Here. Hey, the other sewer key! <gasps> what the heck is this to? The sewers. We always keep a few on hand at the capital, at the capital branch. Never know when they might come in handy. This one should open one of the access gates near the Grand Arena. There are some pretty strong monsters living down there, so I figured it might make for a suitable training ground. Bring it. We could totally use the warm up. Thank you, Elnan. And I'm just doing my job. Make sure you don't head down. And you don't head down there without some backup, though. If it's just the two of you, you're toast. No problem there. We'll head on down with Zinn and uh, Oliver after we meet up with them tomorrow. Wow, it's late. We should probably get back to the hotel. Hey, it's you two! Hmm? Oh, what's going on? We're on patrol. Nighttime patrols have been in increased as part of the counterterrorism measures. So it's best to avoid going out after si after 9 o'clock, if at all possible. You two should go on home. Don't you think that's a little obnoxious? What if you needed to go out after 9 o'clock? It's the higher-ups who make the decisions, miss. Sorry to cause any trouble, but everyone has to abide by the rules. By the way, where is it that you two live? We're just staying at the hotel in the North Block. We'll be there for the duration of the martial arts competition. Hmm. Hold on a sec. I could swear I've seen you two somewhere before. Hey! These kids are in the tournament! You know, now that you mention it... Oh, are you guys in the audience? Haha! <laughs> well, we were on security detail. That match today was pretty incredible. Tomorrow's a championship, no? We'll escort you to the hotel so you can rest up for your big fight. Um... Very well, we accept. Um, thanks for escorting us. We appreciate it. You gotta be kidding, we're big fans of yours. We're all in the same army, but I don't know. The special op- those special op types just rubbed me the wrong way for some reason. 
No kidding. I don't get what's going through their heads. Don't you think talking like this is a little disrespectful of Colonel Richard, though? Well, that's why we're put putting so much faith in your participation. Good luck with tomorrow's match. <laughs> Thank you. We'll do everything we can. Yeah, this is all kind of complicated, huh? I don't think those guys know a thing about the Colonel's plot. They seem to they seem to think the intelligence division are just regular soldiers. Whatever info comes down the chain of command, they accept as truth. Hmm. Well, I hate to make enemies of them since they're rooting for us and all. Regardless, uh, regardless of anything else, it'd be wisest not to stir up trouble with the rank and file soldiers. What do you say we stay in our room for tonight and just rest up? Okay. Huh? Did you just hear something? Hmm. Be on alert. When we go inside, uh, be on alert when we go inside and be ready for a fight. If anything, if things don't look right. Huh? I think we got a trespasser. There might be explosive set, so be careful. Wait, y you're kidding, right? I need you to do exactly as I tell you. No questions. If you'd rather stay out here, that's fine with me. N no way! I'm fine. Let's go inside. All right. Huh? Looks like you got away. But that's strange. I don't get the sense that anyone's been in here. Nor does it feel like there's there are any traps set. You can seriously tell that kind of that kind of thing. I guess this is all that was left behind. What? A letter? Tonight, at the stroke of ten, come to the cathedral. Please, tell no one of this. And that's it? And what cathedral? That huge church over in the west block? It's al already almost ten o'clock now. Hmm, well, it sure sounds suspicious, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. What do you think? Should we go for it? Absolutely not. Well, what was that for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Look, didn't those soldiers just say they were going to reinforce tonight's patrols? You can bet they'll be keeping a close watch on the West Block, too. Alright. Still, I hate to just pretend we never got it. I'll go by myself, then. Huh? It's easier for one person to stay hidden than two. I shouldn't have any real trouble getting to the cathedral unnoticed. Listen, if all I'm doing is scoping out the situation, I can handle it on my own. I just need you to stay here. Hey! Huh? I'm no less abrasive than you are. I can handle myself, and I won't slow you down. Your silver tongue's not gonna work on me this time. Estelle, that's not what I meant. I know it's not that you don't trust me. I can tell that you're worried for me. Or more that you're worried- Well, I, I read it wrong, but... <laughs> I can tell, and she, she's saying, I can tell you're worried about, uh, you're worried about me, or that more that you're worried for me. I read it as worried for me. Whatever. <laughs> what are you not telling me? How can you tell that I'm keeping something from you? I'm closer to you than just about anyone, Joshua. There's nothing you can keep from me. Not for very long, anyway. I'm impressed. Huh? Alright, if you want to come with me, I won't try to stop you. It's almost ten now, though, so we have to hurry. Oh, okay. But I want you to promise me something. If anything goes wrong, you do exactly as I tell you. One wrong move could be fatal. Okay, I promise. Let's get a move on, then. Alright, so. Um, this would be the best time to save, like, right here. Save here. Make sure you have a save. I'm not going to, because I don't want to pull up my save file. That's fine. I have, like, a backup save anyway. But, either way, save here. Okay? Do it! Do it now! <laughs> so, basically, what's going to end up happening is we're going to go outside, and we're going to, like, sneak to the cathedral. Um, there's going to be guards all over the place. And we need to sneak by the guards. If you get caught by the guards, you lose uh, bracer points. I think the max you can lose is 
five bracer points. Um, by lose, I mean like you just you're uh you lose out on them. Like you're like you're supposed to get extra b uh, bracer points for sneaking by. So like I think you can have up. I think it's up to five that you get in total, and every time you get caught, you lose a, br a point. And I think you can lose up to five. It might be more. It could be less. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but not only are we going to be sneaking to, uh, we're not, we're going to be sneaking by, but we're also going to be getting the next Carnelia chapter. So let's go. <gasps> Looks like they're patrolling. If any of the soldiers spot us, we'll probably get led back to the hotel. We need to study their movements and take whatever chances we can to get the, get past them undetected. Okay. All right. So we're gonna going to the landing port first. Now, in the landing port, you can run around as much as you want. There's no guards here, so you're fine. Um. We're going here for the Carnelia Chapter 10. The Ralph is hiding. So, since he's hiding, he's giving us the Carnelia Chapter 10 to make a, make sure we keep our mouth shut. I mean, we weren't going to tell him in the first place, so it's fine. Alright, now we go back. So we gotta make our way all the way, all the way around to the south block. And then from the south block, we gotta go back through, uh, the, the, the normal area, whatever, the, the middle, and then make our way to the, uh, to the west block. Oh. Right. There's a guard right there, just so you know. That's it, it, it. It's tricky. If you don't pay attention, you get caught. That's it. All right. Yeah. So now we're in the now we're in the south block, the the, the middle, you know. So we got to make our way to the west block. This part is kind of tricky. So. There we go. Move your camera first. Camera first. There are guards right there. And then come down this way. Careful. Slowly. There's guards right there. These guards will go around this one building. There's like three or four of them. You gotta look for like an opening and then like run over here. They don't notice you when you're over here. Whatever reason. I don't know. Wait for wait for a nice big opening. There we go. Make sure you come up those stairs and then you're home free. Alright. We made it. Stay focused Estelle. I'll go in first. Stay close. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry, Estelle. I guess I misunderstood. Huh? <laughs> you came after all. You. Hey, aren't you the nun from before? The one who was attacked on the scenic route? Thank you for for what you did back there. I assume you got my message. That letter was yours? But why would you do something so secretive like just to say thanks? Ah, now I get it. It was her all along. 
Huh? <laughs> You're very observant, Joshua. Pardon me, then. Allow me to get more comfortable. What? Lieutenant Julia Schwartz, Commander of the Royal Guardsmen, at your service. It's been a long time, you two. I knew you'd come. It's nice to see you again, Lieutenant. Last time was back in Rouen, right? Yes, it was. It hasn't been that long, but it feels like ages. Hey, hold on a second. Why are you in that getup? And why'd you call us here? I'll answer your questions one at a time. First, the clothes. The Septian Church has a lo has long deep long and deep ties with the royal family. Colonel Richard's conspiracy has us on the run, and they've helped us stay hidden within the city. Ah, huh. okay. The answer to your other question, why I called you here. If you win the final match tomorrow, you'll get invited to that dinner party at the castle, right? What I need you to do is get in touch with Her Majesty once you get inside. Ah! Uh, I realize that it's a selfish request, but since we're basically fugitives, there's no way for us to make contact. You're the only ones we- you're the only hope we have. You're my only hope, Obi-Wan. <laughs> Please, help us, Obi-Wan. You're our only hope. Well then, this is kind of unexpected. Actually, we're participating in the competition specifically in hopes of seeing the Queen anyway. What? Joshua explained the incident. Really now? Almighty Adios, thank you for your gift most sacred. In that case, I have only one favor to ask of you. When you speak to Her Majesty... Heed her counsel. Of course! That was the plan from the get-go! That non-involvement rule still applies, even in situations like this. But we'll do everything we can. I'm grateful. Please, take this with you. What's this? Give it to the headmaid, Hilda, and she'll know that you've spoken to me. Her Majesty is probably under heavy, a uh, very heavy guard by the special ops. But you can trust Hilda. With her help, you may be able to speak with Her Majesty. Huh. She sounds like a heck of a lady. Got it. We'll talk to her. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? Huh? I was deceived and thereby failed the one I was supposed to protect at all costs. And this happened not long after I swore that I would give my life to safeguard Her Majesty from harm. You can't imagine how helpless I feel having to depend entirely on another's help. You really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I hate to say this, but there's a chance that we'll lose tomorrow's match. <laughs> I'm certain that you'll do just fine. That Calvadian martial arts is extremely skilled. A uh, martial artist. Ugh. She's talking about Zin! And you are both the children of Colonel Cassius Bright. You mean, you knew our dad too? Who doesn't know this man? What the fuck? It's not without reason that he was known as the finest swordsman in all the royal army. The divine blade at that. So, this is something to keep in mind when uh, as you play the games. That, that title, the divine blade, that's something to remember when you play through... All the Trails games. Not just Trails in the Sky, but like Trails in the Sky, uh, Azure and, and, and Zero, uh, you know, the, the Cold, Cold Steel series, even the current one that's going on. The Divine Blade is a very, um, it's a very talked about title, but it's also, uh, a rare title. It's uh, only certain individuals have that title. Before he retired from service, I, I had a chance to be trained by him when he was a martial arts instructor at the military academy. If not for him, I would not be nearly as skilled as I am. I can't believe that. Dad's never used anything except a bow staff. I guess he must have given up the sword when he decided to become a bracer. His goal wasn't to kill his enemies. He wanted to improve himself and help those weaker than he. So, if you remember earlier, right... When we were talking to, um, when we were talking to Niall, and we were going through the files, and we, we, we saw about, like, Richard and everything, Estelle was like, um, you know, 
questioning why he gave up being a military officer or whatever. Why he, why he gave up being, you know, a lieutenant or a colonel or whatever. And um, n now she she's only like, he only uses a bow staff. And Julia's telling us, well, hey, he he used to use a sword and he probably gave up the he probably gave up the sword because he doesn't want to kill people. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to kill his enemies. So he uses a staff because staff is non is not as lethal. I mean, I I guess given to the right person, it could be like you could kill people with it, I guess. But like, that's not his goal. His goal is to neutralize. Right. So you look into that and then you think about, you know, the fact that um. When, when, like, before we left, uh, Roland, we had that whole flashback with, like, you know, Estelle and her, uh, and her mother and everything. So, maybe there's more to it than just, you know, him not wanting to kill his enemies, but also probably had to do with his wife, right? His wife and kid wanted to, st he wanted to be around them more, and he probably wanted to, s to set a good example, right? I think there's, I, I think there's more to it than what I've said, um... I'm pretty sure there is, actually. I just don't remember everything that was said. That's why he chose the bow staff as his weapon. Or so I imagine. Really? I didn't know that my use of a staff had that kind of significance. I'm sure he hoped that you'd inherit the same kind of mindset. I think he'd be proud of you. So yeah, going back to what I was saying, like, he want kind of wanted to pass that mindset along. But I think there's, uh, again, I still think there's more to it than just that. Joshua! Colonel Cassius trained both of you. I have all the faith in the world that you'll win tomorrow's match. <laughs> Hearing you say that almost makes me think you're right. We'll put everything we have into it. Pardon us as the Grand Soul City Guard! Due to the terrorist threat, we will now begin. We will now be patrolling the main facilities. I apologize for the lateness of the, the hour, but do you mind if we have a look inside? Crap. Quite all right, thank you. Just a moment, please. I'll open the door. There's another door at the back of the altar, uh, the altar room. Ugh. You can get outside from there. Okay. Please be careful. Phew! Well, we managed to avoid the patrols so far. It doesn't look like there are any soldiers this way. Yeah, I'm not sensing any. I guess the night patrols are finally done? Let's rest for a moment here and then head back to the hotel. Okay. Ah! <sighs> so much is going on. It's starting to give me a headache. <laughs> I'll bet. Also, I love this music. This is the the music that that plays on the uh, the the title screen. It's good music. I never would have imagined it to be Lieutenant Schwartz uh, waiting for us at the cathedral. Wait, so she wasn't who you were expecting to find there? Could it be you were thinking it'd be someone you knew you known before? Well, hmm. <clears throat> Oh, sorry. Forget I said anything. Gotta remember the rules. Estelle. I won't ask you anything about before we met until you're ready to tell me. I try to be careful, but sometimes it just slips in my mind. Mm. Estelle, I... I think you've gotten a little stronger during our travels. Huh? It's overwhelming to think about all the people around us, each and every one of them living his or her own life under all under the same sky. And every person you meet has a personality and history, and a story to tell. Every one of them is just like us, living day by day. Sometimes I just have to remember, I just have to remind myself that no one acts without cause. Nothing happens without a reason, or a motive, or an excuse. And it's only when I remember that, that I start to feel like I might be able to reclaim the parts of me I've lost. Joshua. I'm probably just fooling myself, tricking myself into accepting things I can't change. But even so, 
I am grateful for having someone with me. The sky, Dad, but most of all, you. Joshua! So, I promise, once this whole matter is settled, and if Dad comes back safely, I'll tell you everything there is to know about my past. Really? Really. With the stars as my witness. <gasps> okay then, we have ourselves a deal. Estelle? All my gloom's gone fl fluttering away. Because once you've told me that, once you told me what y you've got to tell me, then I'll tell you what I've got to tell you. Uh, what? Oh, wait, is this about that thing you had on your mind? Yep. <laughs> and I have to psych myself up for it. Psych yourself up? Is it really something so dramatic? I mean, if it's that important, I don't really mind hearing about it now. Absolutely not. It's a delicate matter, and timing is crucial. Well, I guess the situation does feel kind of right, but no, still. No dice. Not yet. I don't get you sometimes, Estelle. I swear, you seem like you're ready to take on anything now, all because we got a big talk planned. It makes no sense. Of course I'm ready. Ain't no way I'm letting those guys keep me from this talk. I'm gonna show those special op types how a touch of girl power can ruin their whole day! Ruin their... <laughs> you really are your father's daughter. What's that supposed to mean? You better not be comparing me to a middle-aged man. Yeah, I guess you're right. Somehow, I think we're going to do just fine tomorrow. Yesterday was genuinely awful. I returned to the embassy over full of spirit. When those tiresome guards saw fit to stop and cast flaming, stinking disparagements at me. So the guards... Were, disres were rude to him? They, they were mean? They were picking on him? Damn. They've tightened security at night, supposedly for anti-terrorist purposes. Were you two okay? Yeah, went to bed rather early, so we didn't have any problems. And Elnan lent us something that might really give us an edge. Now that should come in handy. He's a young one, but he's got a real spark to him. He always seems to know what you need and when you need it. So, what do you say we check out the sewers this morning? The gate is just north of the arena. Well, if it's for the banquet, we could muster up one more huzzah. Okay, we did get money from uh, the previous uh, fight, so we could actually... Oh, wait. Uh, South block. We could actually, like, get armor. So, let's see. Estelle already has it, so we could get it for Joshua. Um... Hmm. Technically, we could also get it for Zinn. Since he's basically acting tank. Oh, whoops. There we go. And give this one to Zen. Um... You know, I probably should give him the one that prevents, like, death blow, right? Oh, wait, do I not have... Oh. Um... Huh. I guess I never bought it? I mean, obviously. Uh, let's check the department store real fast. Shop. Ah, here we go. Get that. And maybe I'll get the one that per wait, do I have 
I do have that. I, th I think I'll give him that. So, give him the Skull Pendant to prevent Death Blow, and then I'll give him the Pearl Earring to prevent Seal. Oh wait, do I have for... Oh, I don't have the one for Mute. Alright, wait, hold up. Um... Get that one to prevent... Whoops. That one to prevent Mute. Um... Yeah, I think I'll do Mute and Sleep for Oliver. Although I don't think we're gonna really have an issue there. There we go. Alright. So, okay, so now here's another th here's another thing that we gotta do. Alright, so there's another... The last Carnelia chapter is here. The problem is it's not as simple as talking to the NPC. Alright, so this is the NPC we gotta talk to, Anton. But he's not gonna give it to us if we talk to him right away. So, this NPC right here... Um... Basically, she's gonna walk around this building a couple times, and every time she does... Our heart will appear above, like, Anton's head, right? Because Anton has a thing for her. So, it's not a matter of her walking around once and then talking to him. No, 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 no. We gotta, she's gotta walk around several times. So, this is a good chance, a good time for you to use your turbo button if you're not using it. I know I've been using it a lot. Um, she's gonna stop here. You're gonna want to talk to her. Um, seems like he didn't see her that time. Uh, yeah, she also gets stuck on, on your you and your companions. You could just wait there and just hold the turbo button, but to be fair, it's also, it also feels like an eternity if you're just standing there. See the, the heart. Okay. So. He saw. And so, yeah. So she has to walk around four times, actually. Because the first time is when. Is like. When he acknowledges the fact that she's walking around. So you have. To, so you, you're going to want to talk to him the first time. And then talk to him every time after. Also, do not go in the department store. If you do, it resets. Oh my god. I hate that she can get stuck on your characters. Like, me personally, I prefer to just walk around with her, because at least this, this way I know. And also because I don't feel like standing around. So, like, she stops here. And then she basically comments that we're bracers and she's more comfortable with us by her side. So talk to her again. And then talk to him. And then he gives us the last one. So now we have all the Carnelia chapters. Uh, where is it? There we go. So we have all of them. One all the way to final. Okay. Um, we're not making use of them right away because there's no way to do so at the moment. Uh, we will make use of them once, once uh, we get the chance to. Either way, now... Let's head to the uh, the sewers, which should be like right over here. So this one connects to the other one. So that lever that we were looking for, and we we were looking to get to last time, we get through. We get to it from here. Oh, actually, 
Okay, so there's the treasure chest there. Treasure! The treasure doesn't respawn, you know. Well, it should. It should. I don't see why not. Oh, real monsters! Alright, these battles can be pretty overwhelming. Just saying. So, be careful. And remember, those two guys in the back, they explode. Oh man, okay, let's not do that then. I'll do... Stone Impact, oh no. She doesn't have one, I don't have one for her that's like... Well... That kind of sucks. Alright, we'll do it this way. White Gehenna is nice because I can just choose where I want my target to be. But also, if they, if they move, it doesn't go with them, so that's also kind of a problem. Do, do, do. Um, just gonna do a self buff here. There we go. Look at all the sepit. Ooh, gladiator headband. Wait, which one was better? Uh, that one's auto CP up. This one is CP up by 10%. Uh, let's go with... Let's give that one to Joshua. Oh, wait. I'm back for more. Maybe. Maybe. Um... This way? This place is such a freaking maze. Sometimes I've like I've gone through this place before and like it's one of those it's one of those places where it's just like you lose you lose uh you lose like where like your 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 uh Oh my god. You don't you like it, it's hard to remember where you're going. You lose your sense of, uh, your sense of, uh, navigation. There we go. That's the word. I don't know. I, like, I'm, I'm sitting here struggling to think of, like, the word I'm trying to say. I don't know why, but it is what it is, I guess. For the record, these enemies are also really weak to elemental attacks, so doing a lot of damage, but also that's because they're weak to it. Like, hold up. Uh, wrong button. Nope, still the wrong button. Where is it? Like, 300 we're talking. So you hit them with magic, they basically might as well just die. Oh, whoops. Uh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna fight them.
Also, just like in the previous, um, in the previous sewer, um, there's also a monster for us to eliminate. Or exterminate. Whatever. Um... Okay, well, this is kind of a problem. Get rid of this one. And then Oliver can stop him from casting. And so can Estelle. If you ever need to stop an enemy from casting, both Estelle and Oliver uh, have crafts that can do that. Um, I mean, you do have the Impede Quartz, so you could just try whacking them and hoping that it stops them from casting. Um, but if you're looking for like a more guaranteed to like stop them from casting, Estelle's Comet and Oliver's uh, Oliver's other attack, whatever it's called, I forget. Uh, I think it's Sniper Shot. Yeah. They can stop it. Uh, they can stop an uh, enemy from casting. Alright, so we just got weapons for Zin. You look familiar. Okay. I mean, thanks, I guess? Okay, there's the enemy we need to exterminate. Uh, let's heal Zin. Exterminate that monster. I was not expecting that. Jesus. I mean, on one hand, I'm glad that, like, I gave Estelle the Grail Locket, but also I'm surprised that Joshua didn't get frozen either. Okay. So. Heal everybody. Uh, yeah. There's a lever, that opens that, that now connects both uh, of the sewers together. Normally I would pro like go right there since that's right, like I would exit through there right now, but the problem is I missed a treasure and I'm not sure where it is, so we're not taking that. But that would be like the quickest way out. No, that's not it.
I'm not sure... Well, I did miss this one, but that's not the one I'm looking for. The chest is so very, very, very empty. Yeah, you could refill, you know. Pretty sure it's like in your coating to refill, right? Right? Maybe? Is it down here? I think this is it. It's so easy to get lost in this place. So, so easy. You know what? I'm just gonna move him forward. See if that works out. Oh, well, now he's gonna die. Unless I can save him. Nope, couldn't save him. I wasn't expecting Petrify. Um, oh, he doesn't have enough to do that. All right, well, I'm just gonna punch. <laughs> do, do, do. All the sepit. And Hawkeye. This one is for Oliver. There we go. Do 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 do. All right, now we have. I'm pretty sure that's all the treasure in this dungeon, at least from what I remember. Yeah, because we got, like, what, two of the tier bombs, or tier bombs, or tier all bombs, I forget what they were. Um, two of those, we got the gladiator headband, we got the weapon for your boy, uh, Zinn, and your boy, Oliver. So, we should be good. That should be all the treasure in, in here. Now we just have to exit. I magically found my way out. That was amazing. I I wasn't sure where I was going. I was like, hmm, which way do I go? So that was a miracle. Uh, let's head back to the inn real fast. Uh, whoops. Alright, and that is it for this episode, you guys. Next episode is going to be the finals, and then I guess maybe we go into the castle after that. But thank you everyone for hanging out. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye!